Welcome to my YouTube channel Kadam Academy. Friends, we have the series of mechanical vibration videos on the single degree of freedom. Already we have studied undamped vibration, damp vibration. Now we are going to start. Already we have started the force damp vibration. Watch the first video on the force damp vibration and its introduction with the application. Now this is the next video. We are going to continue with this equation of motion for the force vibration with the harmonic force okay that force means constant harmonic excitation this uh, there are two methods are there graphical method and numerical method for the calculating the equation of motion for this harmonic force so friend what we have to do in this single degree of freedom force then vibration we have to consider this system okay this vibratory system this is the spring mass system with a viscous damping while harmonic force here is the harmonic force he is there f4 sin omega t this is the f4 sin omega t this harmonic force is there with the displacement x here is the displacement this is the mean position this line shows the mean position ok this line shows the mean position and when it will displace with the distance of x okay here distance of x it will displace and what will happen that will be the disturbance force which will with the mass of mass m okay this mass m and what due to this what will happen this displace mass m displace from mean position by distance in downward direction in downward direction like this here and there will be the accelerating force m x double dot see the accelerating force here accelerating force and this kx is the spring force the spring force will be due to this spring it will try to pull on the upward the spring force due to the stiffness of the spring and here is the this damper which will resist the motion and that will the damping force the damping force this this uh, mechanical system m is having the three types of the forces and these external forces are these two external forces and this is the accelerating force and one more that is the harmonic excitation force that is the F O sin omega t. This is the harmonic excitation force. Okay. This harmonic excitation force, which is in downward direction, and this accelerating force is also in downward direction. Friend, what will happen here? This accelerating force and this are all we know. This is the external. Um, external force external harmonic and this excitation force is in downward direction these two forces are downward direction okay and these two are the upward direction but here we are assuming this for downward direction negative sign for the positive sign for the upward direction forces but what is the purpose of this to get the equation of motion with the harmonic force get the equation of this uh, spring mass damper system this force damp system is there by using this as per the as per Newton's second law of motion what is the what is the that is the accelerating force what are the accelerating forces are there which are equal to the summation of the what external forces this external forces summation that we do do it external yeah, forces so this is the equation for the Newton second law of motion we have to use this principle to get the equation of motion so how to get it just put the accelerating forces. What are, what is the accelerating accelerating force? Is the m x double dot 
here is the accelerating force and which is in downward direction that's why it is minus which is equal to addition of the external force all the external forces here the meaning are the external force this kx cx double dot and the fo sin omega t okay we will write here this plus kx as it is in upward direction upward direction positive plus cx dot minus this is in downward direction okay fo sin omega t rewriting these equations okay this equation i am rewriting it m x double dot minus kx minus c x dot which is equal to minus f o sin of omega t also we can write this equation like this also m x double dot plus k uh, i will let c x first plus k x is equal to f o sin of omega t so this is your nothing but the equation first and this equation is the generalized equation for the equation of motion but we have to this is the nothing but the equation one okay the linear okay this is what is a linear this equation is a linear equation correct non homogeneous equation homogeneous equation with constant coefficient and it's a second order differentiation if we go in detail this is non homogeneous second order with constant coefficient here is the constant coefficient is there what we have to do this is the equation we obtain equation for mo for the harmonic for this system okay for this spring mass damper system we have just obtained this equation and we can we have to solve it so what will happen this equation one this equation one is a governing equation for the force damp viscous damp vibration now uh, second order differential equation this type of the differential equations have the solution what the solution of this second order this type of the equation it is given by the formula x is equal to x c as per the differential we have studied in mathematics already in differential equation you get this equations by using this x is equal to xc plus xp where this xc x is what it's a complementary it's a complementary function and this xp is nothing but the particular integral particular is a complementary complementary function or we can say cf or this is the particular integral at the pi these two terms are there xc and xp that we have to find out individually these two parts we can say part 1 part 2 and we can give this equation number this equation this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 okay one equation equation 2 where us obtain now we have to find out this complementary function here this xc okay and the particular integral for this hybridic system this complementary function will study here c this complementary function i will tell you how to get it the this xc already we have derived this complementary function xc which is equal to in the damp vibration okay that is the, nothing but the this complementary function 
is the complementary solution is obtained by using the this uh, equation uh, of this uh, xc plus xp okay by using this uh, this equation already we have written here sorry show you this one the drum this equation what we obtain this one this so complementary function we can obtain on this right hand side this part i will show you by another line this part of this equation right hand left hand side and right hand side equations are there these two equations are there the complementary solution is obtained by using the right hand side of the equation and which is equal to zero and we are considering this all right here that c yeah complementary function we can obtain just consider m mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx which is equal to zero just considering this right hand side huh? and equal to zero right hand side of the equation one this equation one this part we are considering equal to zero and from this equation and this equation nothing but the is same as the damp vibration damp viscous vibration okay damp viscous vibration so friend what will happen in that case we were already derived we watched the equation for the linear damp discuss the vibration video for getting the solution of this equation already we are derived it for up to deriving it, the three cases are there where in that case the damping factor zeta greater than 1 or uh, zeta is equal to 1 or uh, zeta is less than 1 this is for under damp here this is for the here critical damping and this is for the over damping okay these three cases are there and for this case for the under dam for under dam we have to consider and we have to solve it because the most of the cases are the for the under dam okay where zeta is less than 1 for under dam condition we have already obtained the equation in the previous and that with that equation will be this one okay this equation is the this one this xc here this x c becomes now I will show you how this equation is the this equation we obtain for the under dip condition. This under dip condition equation is what the x c means for the complementary function. Here in the previous uh, video that was the x, but here what we are doing we are written here x c because this is the part of this your total two parts this x xc xp is the first part xc is just comparing the uh, this part with the zero and this is the case for the damp viscous vibration and after solving it we get the this equation okay already we have derived it and this x is equal to x capital x into e raised to e raised to what this zeta omega n t into sine of inside the bracket omega d omega d into t plus phi packet close and this is nothing but the equation number three this is the equation number three this equation three here the terms where the x is what complementary function this x is complementary function that is the first part of this x first part of the x and this is a meter okay the x is the complementary function in meter and first part of the x okay that equation it is the damping ratio or damping factor and omega d is the natural circular frequency of damp pre vibration here damp pre vibration the damp vibration is there in radians per second and omega n is the natural circular frequency undamped pre vibration radian per second and t is the 
time in second and x1 is the or this x is the amplitude of, with the constant these are the two constant x and phi are in this equation here x and the phi are the constant and this is the x consider here x and this phase angle phi in radian so these are the constant this is amplitude also in meter this is also in meter okay this is in meter amplitude we consider and this putting this values of omega d there is a relationship we know already studied the omega d is equal to omega n into square root of 1 minus zeta square this 1 minus zeta square uh, omega n if we put in this equation that is x into e raised to omega n t here omega d okay because this both the uh, values uh, this frequencies are there just in one frequency where this converted this equation x into e raised to minus zeta omega n t sine omega n this value omega d here omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square t this is the complementary first part of the equation for the this x is equal to x c plus x p the first part we are obtained now now why to go for the second part second part is what second part is the particular integral in this case this equation this x c we are obtained x p for this equation to x p we have to find out x p is the particular integral that we have to find out i will show you how the particular integral this is the second part what is this this is the second part of this equation so here friend i will show you the second part of the integral uh, particular integral or the integration that is written here xp xp it is written xp or we can also say pi that is nothing but the particular integral according to this differential equation according to differential equation this xp we can find out okay here how to find out the xp this xp and which can be obtained by particular uh, two methods by particular two methods there is the analytical method and the graphical method so here is a graphical method or analytical method is there analytical method or graphical method two methods are there we can find out this xp but this xp since the mass is subjected to this mass which one this mass since this mass is subjected to this harmonic force mass is subjected to harmonic force f o sin omega t this is f o sin omega t okay particular integration is also expected to be harmonic so that's why this let's assume the harmonic equation this xp is equal to x into sin of omega t minus phi okay this assume the this is equation number 4 already we have derived this three equation for the xc xc is what the already we have derived this is nothing but the equation number here 3 this x is the complementary function now we are studying this particular integral here xp here xp we are assume let assume let's assume various equation for this we are assume this one for the equation number 4 particular integral xp is what particular integral pi in meter so it is the amplitude the x is the amplitude of steady state vibration of a system in meter phi is the phase angle by which the displacement vector lacks the force vector that is the phase difference that is the phase difference so this phi we have to study regarding this phi also what is the phi phi is the phase difference and this omega in this equation c what is this, this x p is equal to capital x into sin of omega t inside the bracket omega t minus phi bracket close this is equation number four for the x p now this circular frequency of external excitation that is the 
due to this external excitation that excitation force is what your force omega t so this omega is the is due to this that external force exciting harmonic force that is in radian per second radian per second here is the phase angle regarding this phase angle we how to get, get this omega t minus phi directly i written this angle why i written like this okay these two forces are there the vector force and the displacement force this vector force fo and displacement force x okay this x this is the displacement force and the vector force uh, we are drawn on this graph what will happen this omega t value this omega t is if we draw this vector force on this uh, phase angle plot okay this with represents uh, represents axis and the force vector we are drawn here the force vector fo and after that we draw here displacement vector x what will uh, will get angle with reference to this axis that omega t minus phi that phi phase difference between these two force vector and the displacement vector the phase difference between these two is phi so that phi uh, deducted from this difference uh, the omega t minus phi this is the angle for the displacement vector the displacement vector where here x then that's why it is taken the this omega t minus phi so this is the uh, this uh, harmonic uh, equation for the getting the particular integral these are the two equations the equation 4 i already have uh, calculated the equation number 3 this xc okay so what will happen here now we can get the answer of xc plus xp these two values we know xc we know xp we know so how to get it by using these two methods are there there is the analytical method for the uh, differential equation solving the differential equation or the graphical method we'll see one by one the both the methods please watch my video if you are not subscribed my kadam academy subscribe for the more and more interesting video thank you very much thank you very much